Communities across Kern County have been celebrating Flag Day today. 17's Karen Hua is live at Coy Burnett Stadium in Tehachapi now as their flag retirement ceremony is about to begin. Karen? All right, well, yeah, the today is all about patriotism. And just take a look around me as the event is about to start. Everything is underway. For the past week, people have been submitting their worn out flags for retirement. You can see the Boy Scouts in the back there. They are preparing and folding these flags for those pits right in front of you that you see to be properly burned, to be properly retired. So Flag Day really is a day all about American pride to really celebrate the symbol of our stars and our stars stripes here. So a very exciting day full of activities. The Kern County Fire Department will be flying in new flags by the end of the ceremony and there also will be a D-Day reenactment, a special guest speaker. Again, plenty of activities. I'm joined now with Chuck Reuter. He is the event organizer. This has been an annual event for 13 years. Is that right? That's correct. And what is the importance of this event? Why do we do this year after year? Well, the importance of it is to uh, not only provide an opportunity for people to retire flags properly, but also to teach uh, Boy Scouts and, uh, and Girl Scouts, Cub Scouts, the respect for the flag, um, how to properly retire it. There's not a lot of organizations that are um, certified, so to speak, to retire a flag. Um, the Boy Scouts of America are, is one of them, so uh, this is an opportunity to get that done and to uh, show a little patriotism and allow the, the community to uh, come and enjoy the event. Um, well, so. great. Yeah, certainly a very educational event. And thank you, as always. If you want to come out, this event goes until 7 p.m. tonight. It's at Coy Burnett Stadium. That's next to Monroe High School in Tehachapi. Again, plenty of activities. And I will have a full wrap of all the Flag Day ceremonies across Kern County for you tonight at 11. Reporting live in Tehachapi, Karen Hua, 17 News.